America, the land of opportunity. Most of us as parents would like to think that we can give our children something more, something different, something better than we believe we had while we were growing up. I'd like to tell you of my new friend, Sarai Mito. Here's her picture. Of her childhood in Las Rutas, Guerrero, Mexico. Her hopes for new opportunities here in America, as well as a little Mexican culture and demographics. Sarai grew up in a small rural area, Acahuamilpa, or Las Rutas, Guerrero, Mexico, which is close to Mexico City. She is one of ten. She has eight brother or eight sisters and one brother. They live in a small two-bedroom home for which, for a long time, which had no electricity or even running water. Most of her extended family lived in the same community. They were farmers. They grew papaya and mango, which they would take to the open market to sell or to exchange for money or other things that the family needed. <coughs> Sarai's madre was a seamstress, which Sarai wasn't too fond of. The family would only go to the market twice a year to buy clothing, and usually the older children got the clothing, and Sarai always got the hand-me-down, which her mother expertly altered, also with love. It was not law or required that children go to school, although Sarai and her siblings did. They would walk for about half an hour to a small little schoolhouse which didn't even have a classroom for each grade. There were no buses, no hot lunches, no free textbooks, no computers. Sarai's family managed to afford to keep her in school until she was 15, when her padre became ill, and it was needed for her to quit school and work to help support her family. She worked in the much bigger city of Texaco. She was a living housekeeper, cook, nanny, gardener. Her earnings were about $20 a month. But they did have electricity, and they did have running water. Sarai remembers there being no doctor but one nurse in her town. Her, her madre's remedy for a sickness was tea, lots of tea. If there was a need for anything more, a hospital, it was about an hour away on public transportation. No ambulances, no 911, no 24-hour drive through pharmacies. Sarai and her family would celebrate all the holidays together, with food always being the main theme. The women cooking all day. Uh, Hand-ground corn for, to for tortillas. No microwaves, no pre-packed shredded cheese, no drive throughs no car. So 15 years ago, when Sarai's oldest sister gave her the opportunity to come live with her in America, Sarai leaped at it. <laughs> Guerrero was named after the independence leader Vincente Guerrero. The region became a state in 1949. The climate of the coast and deep valleys is hot and rainy. Las Brutas is best known for its silver and tourism. Tourists come from all over to see the Cacahuamilpa <coughs> Caves. The mouth of the cavern, which is here, measures 
21 meters in height and is 42 meters wide. The cave itself <coughs> is a level 2 kilometers long. Here's a picture of inside the cave. Beautiful. Really beautiful. The Mexican flag has three equal bands of green, white, and red. Green is for independence from Spain. The white is for religion. It is an eagle with a snake in its beak perched on a cactus. And the red is for the union of Europeans and Mexicans, or for all of the blood lost by those who fought for the independence. Some holidays that are celebrated in Mexico are Mexican Flag Day, Independence Day on February or on September 6th, and Christ's birthday on December 25th. We celebrate it a little differently than they do. Here is Sarai <coughs> and her nieces and nephews, her son and daughter, with the traditional American Santa Claus. And here are her nieces and nephews and children in more um, Mexican attire. They wear a mostly white to celebrate the holiness. Sarai's first job was that like her mother, a seamstress where she made about $5 an hour. She has also washed dishes. For the last five years, Sarai has been a sanitation engineer for the Arby's Corporation. She started at about $6.50 an hour and is currently making what she made back in Taxico a month in less than two hours. Today, Sarai lives in Fife <coughs> with her two children. This is Itzel. She is eight. Her name means... Ah, I don't know. Morning Star. Yeah. This is her son, Angel, and he is five. They all live together <coughs> in an apartment in Fife. They go to Fife Elementary. The school bus stops at her apartment complex to pick her children up. There is hot lunch available for them if they should want it. And they are both learning how to navigate on a computer. This is Sarai's second quarter here at Clover Park. She's in the ESL program. She wants to get her GED and go into some form of health care. She <coughs> likes helping others and would like to give back the opportunity that she was given here. Sarai is proud of her Mexican heritage, proud of growing up in Cacahuamilpa. Is America the land of opportunity? My friend Sarai would say, Celicio, opportunity, Del bueno, del mucho, del mucho. <laughs>